back at the back of his house at home in Slane. And uh, there was a place that he'd be back of rabbits and fruit and that and the lad, do you know what I mean? So when he was out here, he um, he thought of home. There's two things that all of us need of. There's two things for sure that we all think of. And uh, one is home and the other is your mother. Francis Ledridge captures both in this poem. I don't know if I'll be able to see it, but I'll try it anyway. I know it's back with his butt. Where is he? Where the, is this he one here, Jimmy. There? This one here. So, so I just placed this stone. I, th th this is a special stone. This is not any stone. This is from Crofnaharna. And in the poem, you'll, you'll see that the, the type of stone was in the brown rocks and the grey. And that it is. Brown rocks and the grey that is exactly the same across the So I got an old chisel and a, and a hammer and I tapped and I tapped and I tapped until I put it on. Here you are, Francis. There you are. He's at home. Mm. Hold on, please. Mm. I'll, I'll say the poem. I'll, <coughs> I'll say the poem now. It's very, it's, it's a very simple poem. On the heights of Kropnaharna, oh, the lure of Kropnaharna. On a morning fair and early of a dear remembered day, there I heard a crying singing in the brown rocks and the grey. Gee, the peril of Crocknaharna, 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 wild with gulls is Crocknaharna, twenty hundred miles away. On the heights of Crocknaharna, oh thy sorrow, Crocknaharna. On an evening dim and misty of a cold November day, there I heard a woman weeping in the brown rocks and the grey. Oh, the peril of Crocknaharna, Crocknaharna, Crocknaharna. Black with grief is Crocknaharna, twenty hundred miles away. Well done,